Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to try more cleaning hacks because cleaning sucks but hey if you're doing a little hack it's got to be easier right? No? Usually the hacks just make it more difficult. But I found some hacks today that were like oh I wouldn't have done this cleaning if there wasn't a hack. Okay so like for example one's like how, how to clean a wooden cutting board like you know how those get stained so I am going like the extra mile to actually clean it but like I don't have another way of cleaning it so like the hack is making these hacks are, I tried to find useful hacks that's all ready <laughs> let's begin Okay, so the first one is as I explained, we're cleaning a wooden cutting board. So I have wooden cutting boards, they get stained with different things. So apparently you just rub a lemon on it and then you rub some salt on it and then you let it sit for a bit and then it, you rinse it and it's cleaned. Cause you know, they get stained. Cutting boards get stained. So this is for wooden ones. I don't know what you do with plastic, but let's go do that. So I just found out that Matt got rid of all of our wooden cutting boards because they were so gross. <laughs> I didn't even have a chance to revive them. So we're gonna see if this hack works on a plastic one, okay? With life hands you lemons, clean a cutting board. So we just rub this all over this. Little circles. See how gross that look? Hold on, you, I didn't even show you. I didn't even do a before picture. Oh, before. Look at that stain. We're gonna clean it. Great. I'm nailing this. Now, sprinkle it with salt. Oh, that was a lot of salt. Eh, yeah, whatever. Done. Let that sit for 15 minutes, and then we'll rinse it and see if the stains went away. Science. Science! Look at that staining, everybody. Wow! So, uh, that didn't work on a plastic cutting board, and I can't tell you if it works on a wooden one. So, that's all, folks. <laughs> the next hack. Okay, this next one is also a lemon one. You can use a lemon to clean your faucets. What? Oh, entertainment! Mind blown! You know they get water stain, they get grossness on it. I, my dogs take showers and baths in my shower. Things get gross. You gotta clean it every once in a while. Let's go see if it makes it pretty, Snoop. First, I apologize for the noise. There are gardeners constantly doing my neighbor's yards. Just always. If you can hear it, I don't even know if you can hear it. But here's a close-up of the faucet. Oh, look at that scum. I don't know what you call it. Look at this. Uh. Oh God, that's very close to my face. All right, let's clean this up. Clean, clean, clean. Stupid, doo, 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 doo. Gross. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Am I supposed to let it sit or like, maybe just a dash of lemon? Oh, a seed. Do I uh, wipe it off or uh, maybe I should go look at this just the instructions instructions because I don't know what to do after I rub it on. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, there were no instructions. It was literally just use a lemon to clean off your faucet. So I'm just gonna take this paper towel. No, because it's chunky. I think I gotta wash it. Hold on. Guys, I really don't think it did anything. Like, at all. Not even a little. Okay, here are the after shot. Still has stains and scum. <laughs> wow, what a really great hack. So glad I tried that. I hope you all try it too. Oh my god. Next hack. Okay, this one I saw and was kind of confused by it, but you can buff surfaces with olive oil. I feel like it's gonna leave things a little oily. <laughs> But it says it's great for cleaning stainless steel, such as pots, pans, and appliances. And I have to say, we have a bunch of stainless steel appliances, and those things are not stainless. They are stainful. There are stains everywhere. We have stainless steel cleaner. Doesn't work. Stains still exist. I feel like the cleaner actually stains it more. And yes, they are for sure stainless steel things. So let's go see if olive oil actually works. Look at this. Stain. Look at that. Staining. 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 Staining, staining. This stainless steel fridge is very much stained. So let's get some olive oil out. All right, we got a little uh, organic extra virgin olive oil just through the cap. Just stab that on a paper towel, I'm assuming. Again, no actual directions for any of these things. Maybe that way if it doesn't work, they can be like, well, you did it wrong. All right, let's just uh, do this. All right, wait, no, hold. Well, now it's just got oil everywhere. Come on, I'm gonna buff this out. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait a hickety hockety second. I have no idea what I just said. This actually is working. I truly didn't think that this would work, but it's actually working. Like all the smudges are disappearing 
and it's not leaving cleaning smudges. <gasps> oh, and look, there's like dirt on this. Like I'm actually getting things off. Oh, oh, okay, oh, you see, here's the gold. Here's the gold. You can see this, right? You can see this smudging. Let's go for it. Uh-huh, yeah, let's get that. Uh-huh, oh yeah. Okay, it's still kind of there. Let me, let me freshen up, let me freshen up my oil. Just wasn't fresh enough. Here we go, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. So we're not necessarily like disinfecting or cleaning, we're just removing smudges on a surface that isn't supposed to have smudges. All right, mm, that smudge, I don't know if you can see it, is still there. That's a stain, y'all. That has been stained. Oh, 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 we got in here, we're gonna do this in here. Oh, that got rid of that. I think that this gets rid of like 80% of normal smudging, but like it doesn't get rid of like the actual stains. The smudging it removes, but everything else is totally still there. So this is like a passing grade hack. It's passed, but I didn't like it. To the next hack. Okay, now while the olive oil is out. Now while the olive oil is out. Hard to say, tongue twisters. Apparently you can use a hair dryer to remove water stains on wood and then refresh the wood with olive oil. What? This is madness. I have nothing witty to say about this. Let's go do it. All right, there were basically no instructions, but this is my only thing with like water damage on it is this uh, nightstand I made back in high school. It's seen some days. There are so many water stains on it that it just looks like one giant stain. So I'll give you a close up. Like you can't even tell how stained it is, but it's really freaking stained. Like all this was just like, it's sticky and it's gross. So you're just gonna have to believe me if this hack works or not. And again, there's like no instructions on anything. So I'm just gonna start going. Not gonna work. Oh, there it goes. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, it's kind of like changing colors. Hold on. It's making a water stain because there were so many stains. I'm gonna get a dry paper towel and like wipe it because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Oh, it's very dirty. Okay, there is a stain right there that I'm trying to get out. Okay, it's still very dirty and the ring stain I can still see. It got some grossness off. So I'm gonna see if I can liven it up with some olive oil. This thing has seen better days. Like if I ruin it, I'm not that devastated. It's been around a while. Oh, there's things in here. Oh, I didn't even know that. There's things in there. I never said how much olive oil. So like just put some olive oil on here. See what this beauty does. All right, we're oiling it up, getting some oil. You know, if anything, it's just making the stains more apparent. So, and my towel very dirty once again. So, this is just like making the stains look worse. I don't know if this hack was successful or not. Oh, uh, that's a mystery for me. I still have stains. I have a water stain. I guess there's a little less dust on it now than there was. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm gonna say this was unsuccessful for me. <laughs> Oops. All right, and then last hack for the day is dust electronics with coffee filters. People always are coming up with new ways to dust things. Is a duster or like a rag, just a damp paper towel? Are these not things we can use anymore? We have to dust with like certain weird things, apparently. So let's go see if a coffee filter can dust my electronics. That keeps the TVs so clean. That's like, there's nothing to dust. So we're gonna dust this beauty down here. This is my speaker. Can you even, no. can you even see? There's dust. There's also a garbage truck outside. Oh, there's a doggy in the reflection. Cute. Okay, I have a coffee filter. I don't know why I'm feeling the need to open it. Maybe just put my hand in it. A little glove. Okay, here we go. Ooh. It got dust on it. Kind of streaky though. Hold on. Let's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's hitting the dust, but so would my literal hand. It got the dust on it. It collected the dust. I just, I don't understand why people feel the need to dust with all these different things. Like, use a paper towel. Use your finger. Like, just do this. Dust, got it. Did the same thing. I, 
You know what, there's a little smudge on here. Let's see if this, can it be a camera lens wipe? Can it? No, it can't. I just don't know what to do, like, yes, it worked. But so do so many other things. Like, who was like, you know what you should be dusting with? A coffee filter. Genius! I don't know, hacked worked. It just seems like one of those hacks that's like, there are so many other options before we get to this one. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope you were inspired to clean. Because a clean room can often spark a little joy, if you will. Oh, the winner of the last giveaway is this person. Thank you so much for participating and being subscribed and being beautiful and just being great. Thanks for that. I love you guys so much, so please subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Comment below, tell me what your favorite hack was. Let's start a little combo down there in those comment sections. I hope you guys are having a very Merry Christmas and Happy Thanksgiving and all of the things. You know, I hope you're having a great holiday season so far. Remember to check out my vlog channel. I'm about to start Vlogmas. Make sure you check out my podcast channel. I post new episodes every Monday. Make sure you're checking out my Twitch channel over on Twitch. I stream about three, four times a week. You can just hang out with me there, hang out with each other, make some friends. It's a cool hangout spot. Hang, hang, hang. Out, out, out. That's all I have. I'm out of things to say. And remember guys, above all else, stay awesome possums.